Beauties. I just want you to know I am having an amazing day. <laughs> an amazing day, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, welcome back to my channel. I am Love of Fragrance, and I would like to thank all of my new subscribers, my current ones, and my previous ones, the newer ones. I am so grateful that you tune in and you subscribe. I have my subscription of subscribers is it's increasing slowly, <laughs> but I noticed some little elevation there in the subscribing attendance, and I really appreciate it. It means that someone's viewing my channel, and that's the whole concept. That's the whole idea. So someone can review the content, and I hope you're enjoying it because I am enjoying producing the videos and delivering them to you. But anyways, I just want you to know that I am Love of Fragrance. And on this particular channel, I highly recommend fragrances to you. And the reason I do them because of the fact that I have a love for fragrance. And I just want to share my love with you. And I want you to know that there are many, many beautiful fragrances out there. And I can only bring you a selected few. But I pray that the ones that I do bring to you, you find them interesting enough to attain them and develop a love for them also. And without any further ado, I want to get into this video because of the fact that I previously conducted a video on this here particular product by none other than Mr. Bill Blast. Mr. Bill Blast happens to be a fashion designer and a fragrance designer, but he's pretty like iconic now. Well, he's iconic, but I think his fragrances are considered a little bit, not vintage, but retro. And the reason is because of the fact that uh, this here was a fragrance line that was established, I think, before the 90s. Uh, but anyways, he has about a total of about 14 products in his fragrance line collection. But there are only one that I was originally familiar with, but now I have three. I have purchased two additional and a substitute for the original, which was Bill Blast Woman, which was what I considered as my signature fragrance. But however, the fragrance happened to be obsolete right now. And why? I have no idea. All I know is it's always out of stock, but yet it's still considered as being a part of their fragrance house, Bill Blast Fragrance House. But it isn't accessible to me. But I've purchased two substitutes, and I would like to introduce you to my new substitute which happens to be beer blast amazing but before i do that <coughs> excuse me i want to introduce you to beer blast new i think i introduced you to this before but for the new subscribers i want you to know and get accustomed to it because this happens to be a substitute of my um beer blast woman fragrance but it's beer blast new i purchased it thinking that i was going to attain the same type of a scent but I don't know what I was thinking about because it doesn't work like that they come from different product lines and the blend and the notes the origination the compartmentalization all of that is totally distinguishing but <coughs> excuse me I purchased this particular fragrance thinking that I would be content but I'm not I love it but it isn't Bill Blast Woman it's Bill Blast Nude and it's a lovely fragrance but it just isn't the one that I was going for. And this particular fragrance, it has some very, very harsh notes applied to it. They are more earthy. I can't remember exactly what Bill Blast Woman consists of for its notes are concerned. But it, this isn't it. <laughs> this definitely isn't it. This note, These notes in this particular fragrance consist predominantly of floral aldehydes, orris roots, and uh, or 
Mantis and all the earthy notes that you can possibly think of. And it also consists of sandalwood, which isn't bad, but the only soft note that I've detected in this particular fragrance happens to be the jasmine. It also has like some oak moss in here. All of them are extremely earthy, but the fragrance as a whole is pretty pleasant. It's pretty pleasant. It has its own originality applying to, uh, applied to it, but it isn't, I would say, the epitome of Gail Blast Woman. But this here was, I'm not going to say that I can say this was a blind buy, but I will say that it was a substitute for the Gail Blast Woman. And this particular fragrance also happens to be considered a luxury and sophisticated fragrance. Oh, I sprayed it on me, but... It appears to be very appropriate for an office environment and casual wear, but it's pretty alluring and pretty potent. And I'm not going to say it's powerful, but, but the way the notes are compartmentalized, it makes it pretty, um, it's, it's not threatening, but it's enduring. In other words, it's energetic. It's a very energetic fragrance, but I love it to some extent. But to me, this isn't an any time, any occasional fragrance. It's okay for day wear, but myself personally, I think it's more appropriate for going to um, maybe, um, what is it, a music hall. Maybe going to a concert where you're in an enclosed environment and your fragrance is alluring and it's, a, it's appropriate for distribution, like being able to penetrate and flow throughout the air, but yet you want it to be entertaining. In other words, you want it to be recognized as something elaborate, elegant, and exquisite. And I feel like it's like almost at that classic um, stigmatism applied to it. So I think it would be very appropriate for a symphony or an orchestra. It's delicate and very rich-like. So I think it's appropriate for that. I love it. It has almost like a musky scent to it, but it's not powdery, but it has almost at the epitome of being a little powdery and musk mixed together, but I would say it's more musky. And like I said, the jasmine softened it a little bit, but other than that, everything else is earthy. And it's like I said, it's a luxurious and sophisticated scent. I like it, but it isn't my Bill Blast woman, but I do like it. And I'm still looking, <laughs> I'm still looking for my Bill Blast woman. But I like this one as well. It's a substitute. I hate to put it in that category, but it that's what it happens to be. And right now, I want to introduce you to my newest purchase. I didn't get it like yesterday. It's been around for a while, maybe a couple of months or so. But this here was purchased also as a substitute for my Bill Blast Woman, which I haven't been able to locate as of yet. But this here's Bill Blast um amazing see bill blast amazing yeah right here bill blast amazing i love the this packaging right here it has like a christmas foil wrapped around here in little bitty teeny lines in the, in the package itself and the original container here happens to be very elaborate i think it's very exquisite very um lovely design it also has a gold uh foil wrapped around each circle here and it's a beautiful container I think overall so let's just try the fragrance this here particular fragrance happened to be more of a mm, it's delicate but it has like a lemon twist to it but it's more of a contemporary luxurious um, floral fragrance and I like it but I detect a great deal of jasmine, but it has no lemon in it, but it smells a little bit of lemon to me, and the quartz of major and are brought together with the lily of the valleys, which are nicely orchestrated, but it also has like some tuberose applied to this particular fragrance, but the transition of it makes it extremely soft and delicate, which grants it the transition into like a milky, musky type of sandalwood type of fragrance which I think is okay, it's delicate. It's very delicate 
and it's also very feminine. The reason I realize that both of these are pretty feminine, but one of them I think is a little harsher than the other one. But the Beer Blast Amazing is very feminine. It's soft, 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 pretty soft. Very appropriate for office wear, more so than the other one, and it's very appropriate for day wear. Yes, I would say you, and when I put both of these together, I swear both of these aromas together, even though they are different um, fragrance brands, they're different brands, but no, they're the same brands, but from different lines of fragrances. But when you put them together, that's when I come closest to the overall scent, which I was accustomed to with the Beer Blast Woman. But independently, they are so indifferent to that particular fragrance, exceptionally indifferent to any fragrance I've ever smelled before. But the fragrance that I'm attaining from this, well, the scent that I'm attaining from this particular fragrance, I have to admit to you that I find both of them to be, to some extent, exceptionally floral but this one has the penetration of lemons applied to it but they don't classify lemons as being one of the dominating notes in here it isn't in here at all but the compartmentalization of the notes and the way they are orchestrated and originated and everything gives it that transition that if there's a possibility that it has some lemon in it but they say it doesn't, so it must be the sandalwood and the musk that's originated in this particular scent. It's a lovely scent. I'm not going to lie. I find it appealing. But, like I said, when you want something and you're accustomed to something, it's kind of hard to just, you know, distinguish the difference from, make that transition. It's very difficult to be in acceptance of something as a substitute, even though I have, but I thought I was going to be totally content with the substitutes, but I want you to know I still linger for the Bill Blast Woman because it was my signature fragrance and I can't say these are my signature fragrance, and of course every woman wants a signature fragrance even if I have many fragrances don't get me wrong, that I love as my signature fragrance, but that one was the original and sometimes you just want the original. You just want to have access to it. You, when you know something's good, you know it's good. And that's a wonderful fragrance. And I just fell so in love with it. And there's no substitute for it, I assume. Because I have Beer Blast right here in my hands. I have them both right here. And I'm not going to say I'm not. No, I'm not. I am going to say it. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling that total completion with these two because I think what would complete me literally was having my original signature fragrance which happens to be the Bill Blast Woman. Don't get me wrong, Bill Blast Amazing is a beautiful, lovely, attractive scent. And Bill Blast Nude also happens to be Oh, I'm gonna put it back up on here. Also happens to be a beautiful, lovely, attractive fragrance. But it just isn't the one I want. But these are in my fragrance line. They're in my fragrance collection. Both of them are. And they are by Beer Blast. And I did say I love Beer Blast products. And I do. But the reason I was so obsessed with Beer Blast products is because I have the Beer Blast Woman original in my possession and that was the scent that I fell in love with and you just sometimes want to feel that same love again and there's no substitute sometimes but anyway I just want you to know that I have these two and I'm going to wear them I'm not going to clarify them as a signature scent but I will be wearing them and I want you to know they're both extremely lovely attractive fragrances and I've had some samples of Bill Blast's other fragrances, and I must contest. I think all of his fragrances are lovely, so I highly recommend them to you. And without any further ado, I would like to thank you for tuning into my video, and I would like to thank all of my new subscribers again, and I would also like to thank everyone that 
has observed this video today or tune in to this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell and please comment and we can discuss this a little bit further but I want everyone to also take it into consideration and accommodate me and assist me with the fact that if you have any information regarding where Love of Fragrance, Love of Fragrance can obtain the original Be a Blessed Woman without any complications, without it being out of stock, without me having to have to hunt all around the world, please put it in the comment section. Let me know where I can attain Be a Blessed Woman and I really would appreciate it. I thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Bye.